now that we just talked about a bunch of football things, went through the reasons why you guys were successful, let's get to the real reason you guys won the game, which is uh, Juju Smith Schuster said, is uh, that you guys play Call of Duty. <laughs> yes, we did. Um, he said, C-O-D. playing Call of Duty with you, Mahomes, and Marquez on Friday. Marquez, Marquez, yeah. Marquez, thank you. Marquez uh, on Friday was the difference in team chemistry. I'll tell you what, there's something about off the field, you know, camaraderie or just doing something fun with each other off the field yeah, no, no. that yeah. brings everything together. We've talked about this earlier on the podcast. Um, I'd never, I'm, I'm not a huge Call of Duty f- player. I'm more of like a sports video game guy. I'm in so the what you're 2K, saying is you Madden. Get your ass kicked when you're playing I'm trash, yeah. yeah. But when I play with guys who actually know what they're doing, I can be a good teammate. I can revive everyone. Yeah. I can tell everyone where they're at because you they're shooting You can be me. the run on in there. <laughs> We're going to flank them. Travis, get in there. They're, they're around the stairs. They're around the stairs. One shot. I got two shots on him. Knocked his armor. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> Stick to the play. Stick to the play. <laughs> oh, God. So we get the game together. Yeah. And the first game... We only played three. We only played three together, and this is the resurgence where you can kind of, as long as your team's alive, you can fly back in. As long as you know, I don't know what any of this. Either way, right now. So, so long story short, we win three in a row. Okay, and that's all we played. Or? Three games, first place, okay. back to back to back. When yeah, I tell you, great. that's like a once in a month, once in a week kind of thing for a guy like me. <laughs> like I'm not getting dubs like yeah. that, but when so you're feeling good. I'm feeling you're like, fantastic. Dude, all these guys are like, yeah, no, I gotta go, gotta go. Like, Sounds all right, everybody's out, everybody else is off, and I'm like, yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to go ahead and get my fourth win in a row. And I didn't even place in like the top 25. It was just, bad. <clears throat> so it just told you just when we're a team. What do you call it, buns? It's pretty unstoppable. Yeah, I was buns. <laughs> I'm buns on the sticks, but getting better. I, I can hold my own. I'm not here putting up goose eggs in the in the kill column. You know what I mean? I'm putting up like five kills a game, but these dudes like Juju and Marquez are throwing up 10 plus kills. What's your strategy? I'm a you, flanker. A, I'm actually, it's funny you said that. I'm a flanker. I'm a flanker. So you're trying There's to a lot of action going on over here. I'm going to go ahead and slam. might take me a little. That <laughs> is so you. <laughs> You are over here, over here. You Sneak in the back the door. You've been a flanker in everything you've ever done. King flanker right here. You're giving up my strategy, man. <laughs> Chill out. Made you a great tight end. There's a lot of action going on hey, over there. Boom. <laughs> it was meant to be. The oldest trick in the book. Yeah. Sneak through the back door. Me, I'm just running in, just trying to melee guys. <laughs> my strategy is run as fast as possible, knife them. Whenever I play, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I'm a big sneak up on somebody for sure. And yeah, yeah Lamb. you've always been sneaky. That's a sneaky son of a gun. Betty, Betty, sneaky. Um, That's pretty good. Big flanker, man. But yeah, no. Shout out to COD, getting the gang closer and uh, ready for this matchup, man. I can, what, def- I can definitely feel what Juju was saying, though. Are there uh, any other video games you played that have brought teams closer together, or? I don't um, think video games are, are, are a big part of... Uh, especially since the comms, since you can play online and stuff, for yeah. sure. I feel like every single hockey tournament I ever went to, we were hooking the N64 up yep. to the TV. Yep. Um, every single base, you know what I mean? As a kid, you're bringing the 64 everywhere you go. Yep, that was my favorite console. I still play the 64. I still got it. It's upstairs. You all, have one, too? All, all the games included, yeah. Well, I have one of mine, so... You have the original that we had at the house? No, I think that's Yeah, that one was gone. Yeah. It was a um, swing one, though. It was a green one. You could see My through. favorite video game to build team chemistry is Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey 98. <laughs> that made our college team closer, or at least the, at least the guys so, that were playing. Um, Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey 98 for the Nintendo 64. And obviously... Once you're in college. Was it 88 or 99? 98 or 99? I think it's 98, but we kind of played whichever version was available. Right on. Um, Which is a two-on-two, three-on-three, but like two-on-two. NBA Jam style. Yeah, it's arcade hockey game, right? You can hit people. You can shoot fire shots where the goalies fly through the nets. You know. You fight. You fight. But anyways, we made it into a drinking game. And it's one of those games where uh, 
the computer has like a regulator on it. So the game's kind of always close. And you can kind of, it's a little glitchy too. So you can get, you can master the glitches. Oh yeah, definitely. For sure. I mean, all N64 games had a little glitch. Yeah, though. that was part of the game, inside yeah. the game. But um, the- uh, <laughs> Flanking, baby. Yeah. <laughs> so Wayne Brewski was the game that we played in college, which was uh, for every time somebody scored a goal, the other team had to drink. Uh, every time that somebody got a hat trick on the opposing team, the other two players had to, the opposing two players had to ch finish their beer. And I don't know if you guys have ever played Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey 98, but they're high scoring games. These are, both players are definitely getting at least a hat trick. At least, game. at least. And this led to, uh, I mean, each game you're chugging pretty much One, three beers. At least, yeah. If you're, each person. If it's a competitive game, for sure. So within 30 minutes, you're through a rack of beers. <laughs> Um, Wayne Brewski, baby. It's the greatest drinking if you game get in the, If invented. you get in the fights, the other... Everyone has to be drinking their beer while the fight is going on. Even the people in the fight. So you end up just mashing buttons until somebody <laughs> gets knocked out. I wouldn't have let your game. It was a great man. game. It was a great game. We don't play it enough. No, um, it <laughs> I still... Yeah, I need to hook that up. That's definitely got to come back out of the archives. That was the best drinking game we ever did. We also had uh, uh, Mario Kart 64. Um, Mario Kart. No drinking and driving. So you could drive, and then when you got in a crash, that's when you tried, and you had to finish your beer before the race was over. Um, yeah. That was really it. Those two. And Halo. Halo was huge in college. Yeah, I didn't get into that one. Yeah. I was never a Halo guy. Well, you couldn't flank. <laughs> <laughs> you could definitely flank. <laughs>